Well, they're letting more and more trickle out for the Yas Queens. This TMZ doco is going to blow the top off everything. But what's come out today is very interesting. They're saying that Brittany loves coffee. She loves the Red Bull and stays awake for days on end. Now, where I come from, that's that sounds like a tweaker. Are they trying to be nice in saying, hey, the meth ain't mething. It's just freaking coffee, all right? <laughs> Settle down. Hey, but I tell you, if Jerry Seinfeld is aware of this, he can get her on his little show called Coffee in Cars with Jerry. That would be awesome. Just Britney in the car, just doing all her jittery moves, like whoop, 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 drinking, sculling, sculling coffee out of her shoe, just doing shoeies of coffee. Oh, man, there's so many things that they could do. This is great. Brittany, Brittany's team, hook up with Jerry, get in the car, drive around. It'll be the number one episode. That's my hot tip. But anyway, let's keep moving. Let's look at this article. So this article states that... Brittany will drink liters, gallons of caffeinated beverages. Now, we know she was never allowed to drink coffee due to being on lithium, which is a drug that you cannot drink coffee on. So when she's off the meds, she's like, screw it. I'm drinking coffee, Red Bull in one cup (laughs) because it is crazy. And it's funny how I have always said, She's a tweaker. And if she's been awake for three days on coffee, well, there you go. That's a tweaker. That's a tweaker, man. And I don't fully believe it, but everyone just being so insane about uh, TMZ. It's like, why do you guys love TMZ when they break breaking news? It's like if someone passes away, everyone goes to TMZ. Because they're telling the truth. But if they start saying stories that people don't like, they're like, TMZ are a bunch of liars. It's like, which side are you on? You want to believe them sometimes and then not believe them other times. I mean, guys, pull your heads in. TMZ probably know a lot more than us because they got a lot of sources, a lot of tomato sources. You feel me? But I can't believe they said that she should be kept away from knives. That is hilarious because she puts this video up of her chopping up some fruit and she's chopping it up on some tray, like a tray that you'd put on your lap on the couch or whatever, carry some food on. I mean, can we all try and put our monies together and buy a cutting board, a really good, nice cutting board because that was mental but for some reason she's taunting us going I have knives and I am cutting like a maniac it's like okay okay Britters I feel you go and have a cup of coffee and settle down settle the fluff down and look at her just dancing Woo! I've been away for three days on Red Bull Woo! <laughs> It's like, I think that the Yas Queen, Britney Queens, should actually take a deep breath and say, hey, maybe TMZ are doing her a favor in saying that she just drinks coffee. <laughs> because I don't believe it. I really, I really, really don't believe it. But we'll soon see. We, You know, TMZ is tipping their hat to, yes, something drastic is up. up. But um, we'll see what Dr. Drew says, because I love Dr. Drew, and I know a lot of people hate him. But it's like, I've watched all celebrity rehab, and he knows what's up. At the end of the day, he's a freaking doctor, so shut your gobs. He knows what's up. And if it's just coffee and Red Bull, sheesh, sheesh. I mean, I've never seen anything like it, but I can see that it would definitely, definitely start some heart issues because um, I don't know if many of you know this, but I did have a heart attack when I was 25. It wasn't coronary. It was an electrical issue that I had in my heart and they went in and they operated on it. For all the doctors watching my videos, 
<laughs> I'm joking because I don't think there's any doctors, but I had uh, Wolf Parkinson's white, which is a pretty serious condition. I mean, I had to have an operation because my heart was beating way too fast. Not all the time. It would just kick in and go like that. Anyways, anyways, I wasn't allowed to drink coffee, Red Bull, all of that because it would set it off into this you know, crazy 200 beat pattern. And um, yeah, it could definitely do that. Definitely. No question in my mind. But I don't want you to worry because I'm healed. My ablation worked. And that is great news because quite often you've got to have the operation many times. And mine worked the first time because it was big. They could see it real easy. <laughs> so I don't want anyone to start praying for me because I had a heart issue. It's all good. All good. You know, what doesn't kill you makes you stronger, doesn't it? That's what I've heard. And I believe it did. This video that went viral on TikTok that we're looking at right now, like, oh my God, that's Brittany with blue eyes. And then she pulls her hand up over her face and her eyes turn brown. <laughs> to me, they're the same eyes. And it's just a filter because I thought Brittany had greeny hazel eyes. I didn't think she had brown eyes. They're, if they are brown, they're a very light brown, like a hazel. So when that filter goes back down over, to me, it just looks like hazel eyes. It doesn't look like blue eyes. It doesn't look like old blue eyes. Frank Sinatra, baby. Oh, I can't wait for this doco because the amount of crap that surrounds this woman is insane in the membrane. And she's taunting us with knives. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I just find that very funny that this is coming out and she puts up a video of her chopping fruit very aggressively. Woo! Aggressive. <laughs> and then they're trying to put the, you know... It's not drugs. It's, it's not that she's an alcoholic. It's none of that. It's just that she loves the Red Bull and coffee. Uh, I, think that's a, I do think that's a bit of a stretch. And I do think everyone should be a little bit nicer to TMZ because I think they're being nice. In my opinion, champignon. So we will wait with bated breath to see the awesome outcome and we can take it with a grain of salt we can believe parts we don't have to believe it all but i am tired of everyone hating tmz when they don't like what they talk about but loving them when they give us you know the real deal news it's like guys that's how news is that's how media is you've got to always look at it objectively with logic and go does that make sense could that really have happened? And you can choose to believe half of it or, or not believe any of it. But at the end of the day, we know something's up with Britney. Something's up, something's up. And I know I made a video the other day saying she was on Flacker. And I was joking for all the serious people out there because to me, she's real jittery. Her movements are very, you know, jit, 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 jit. And if she's had that much coffee and she's awake for that many days in a row, I guess that would give that impression, wouldn't it? So I wasn't too far from the truth, was I? You free Britney nut jobs. Anyway, don't try and free this woman again. It is not CGI and it could be some green screen shit going on. I won't deny that. But uh, I used to think it could have been a body double. Because I was like, that can't be Britney. She's too pretty. This woman we're looking at is deranged. She works on the street corner, man. But there you go. Not even a filter could have fixed what's going on in Britney's life. But one day we'll see her. Maybe we won't. I don't know. But the plot thickens on the Britney story. I guess we just got to keep following it because it's hotting up. Like Sammy Boy, where's Sammy Boy? I miss that chicken leg man. You know he blocked me on Instagram <laughs> because I wrote a comment, a message to him saying, will there be a chapter on you in the fake Britney memoir? And then I was blocked. That was a real sore spot for him. <laughs> the amount of crap I've given this man over the year, calling him a chicken leg, you know, maniac do leg work all of that that's the that's what got me blocked 
Wow. Anyway, Samurai boy, we know that you're a paid actor. We know that you didn't really marry her because who would? Who would? Seriously, I know it's Britney Spears, but who would marry a deranged caffeine addict? <laughs> Stop it. I just think it's funny that they're saying she's a caffeine addict. <laughs> I've met many a caffeine addict in my life, like people that will drink, you know, up to 10 cups of coffee a day. I've never seen them act like Britney, but <laughs> there you go. <laughs> there you bloody go. Believe it or not believe it, it's up to you. All right? <laughs> I'm going to love you and leave you, and I will see you at the top. Bye. Cheers, bowlers. <laughs> How it feels, 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 how it feels,